Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video I wanted to answer a very simple question. So, what would actually happen to the life on our planet, to the planet itself, and to essentially humans, if one day, moon just kind of disappeared? Let's find out in this video, and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So, the moon is gone. First effect is going to be very dramatic. Because the moon causes a lot of tides on our planet and essentially has a lot of tidal effect from basically orbiting around our planet, as soon as the moon disappears, all of this water that moon is pulling toward it is kind of going to slowly fall back to the planet and redistribute itself in such a way that a humongous tsunami will go across the planet, destroying a lot of the coastal areas. That's probably going to be the main and the most dramatic effect that we'll experience and that, that will affect us as humans. So the tsunami begins the disappearance of the moon. What will happen next? Well, the other effects will not be as dramatic and will take millions of years to basically influence our planet, but let's talk about all of them. So the tidal effects on the tsunami have uh, occurred. The next effect will actually relate to the seasonal changes on our planet because our planet is currently uh, orbiting at the axis, which I can show you by enabling the magnetosphere axis right here. It's orbiting in such a way that it's actually kind of turning with a 23 degree angle to its actual um, orbit. Because of this, we have seasons. On Earth, this number doesn't change very much. It goes to about maybe 22 to 24. So it goes plus minus one because the moon stabilizes the rotation due to an effect known as um, notation. Here's a picture that kind of demonstrates a little bit of this, but it's beyond the scope of this video. If the moon disappears over the next million years, our Earth will start wobbling a lot more. It will go up to uh, as high as maybe 68, 70, go down to zero. And um, this is essentially what's happening to, our, to the planet Mars as well. It, its wobble is much higher than it is on the planet Earth. So the seasonal effects are much more dramatic. It might even become this. It might actually turn into uh, the rotation of Uranus, which almost has like 90 degrees, making the seasonal changes very, very extreme. So here, the seasons would be absolutely extreme. So this is something that will occur over the next millions to possibly billions of years, but humans might not see this effect right away. All right. Effect number three is in relation to the kind of um, protection that the moon provides when it orbits around Earth. What kind of protection? Well, look at all those little circles. What are those? Those are, of course, indications of various collisions that occurred over billions of years. The moon is great at protecting our planet. Not only does it usually sometimes take takes the actual collision to itself, and you can kind of tell how many occurred over, you know, if you, over the billions of years, of years if you count those circles, but it also redirects asteroids. So sometimes when an asteroid approaches close to our um, planet, it redirects them and it makes them fly away. And this does happen quite a lot. So it provides the protection that will now be completely gone. The moon is gone, so the asteroids will possibly aim for planet Earth. This might not be fun for us. It might cause a lot more extinction events in the future. All right, are there any other effects? Well, one thing that the moon has done over billions of years is actually in relation to the rotation speed. It slowly increases the rotation speed, making it slower and slower and slower. Over the next few billion years, the Earth's rotation will actually become 28 to 29 days. In other words, Earth will actually be tidally locked to the moon. But if there was never a moon, if the moon didn't exist from the beginning, the current rotation speed of our planet would be about six hours. In other words, one day would last only six hours and one year would have like 1400 days. That would be a very difficult calendar to remember. But I don't think this is actually something that would affect humanity very much. Now there's actually another effect that is very important. 
If you ever look into the skies when the moon is full and you compare it to when the moon is not full, you'll notice that the skies are much brighter at full moon, much darker when the moon is dark. That's because the moon is the second brightest object in the sky. It's very reflective. This might not seem important, but and actually it is it isn't for humans, but there is an effect called lunacy. Animal lunacy is something that we know exists for a fact. Many different animals will actually act differently and will do different things depending on the actual um, shape of the moon in the skies. For example, lions. Lions tend to hunt actively during full moon and you're more likely to die from a lion attack during full moon because they just do it a lot uh, with a lot more ferocity. And that's because a lot of animals will usually hide during full moon, so the lions have to become more active. Full moon provides a lot of light in the sky, so many animals will hide. Dark moon means that many animals will come out and because the skies will not be as bright. Other animals are affected differently. For some unknown reasons, um, scorpions during full moon start glowing slightly. If you ever see a scorpion in the desert at full moon, you will see a bit of a glow coming from them. On the other hand, amphibians rely on the moon for reproduction. The moon signals uh, to frogs, for example, when to start procreating. They will actually start their sexual activity when the moon is full or when the moon is completely dark. If this disappears, they will not know when to start uh, making babies. In other words, they might actually go extinct from that because they will get confused. But one of the biggest, uh, one of the most interesting things that occurs during the full moon happens right here in Australia. Go to the northeast to a place called Great Barrier Reef. It's the largest coral formation in the world right here. This place is absolutely incredible, but every year around the same time when the full moon, full moon occurs around November, December, um, the corals release trillions of eggs and they start procreating actively, creating even more corals and basically continuing the, um, the evolution of coral. But it's always triggered by the full moon. If there is no full moon in the sky, if the moon basically disappears, if it's gone forever, the coral will not know when to trigger the, this, it will get confused and it will very likely go extinct. And no coral means no food for a huge amount of fish it will, they, um, a lot of those fish, a lot of those animals that depend on the coral will also go extinct and this will definitely affect the humans. It might not take, um, it might not be instant, it might take hundreds of years, but it will affect a lot of the ecosystem on our planet. Many animals will definitely be affected by the dis disappearance of the moon and many of them will go extinct for sure. Um, even animals that only use the moon for communication, like for example, wolves um, use the moon for communicating by howling at it. And um, even birds, uh, for example, certain owls, like eagle owls, use um, or change their behavior when the moon is full as well. So these types of um, animals might not go extinct, but many other uh, animals that do rely on the moon for signals will very likely not be with us anymore. And this will definitely affect humanity. But other than that, nothing really will happen. The disappearance of the moon will very likely not kill humans. The tsunami will pass, will survive a tsunami. The um, occasional asteroid collision will not be as common anyway, so it will not really cause extinction right away. But nevertheless, one day maybe a large asteroid that would have hit the moon approaches our planet Earth instead, and maybe this will actually kill us. But other than these potential hypothetical scenarios, the dis disappearance of the moon will not really do much to us right away. Humanity will survive for at least a few thousands of years and will very likely evolve to live without the moon. Many animals will also have to evolve and um, for the most part, with the exception of the tsunami I mentioned in the beginning, the moon's disappearance will basically not be very important for us. And anyway, so here comes that collision and the destruction of Earth. This asteroid and this particular um, dwarf planet could have actually hit the moon, but instead it hit the Earth. Because the moon was not there to keep us in um, safety from the, this collision. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this video, and hopefully now you know what would happen if the moon disappeared. And if you learned something from this video, and if you've enjoyed watching it, do subscribe and come back here tomorrow, because you're going to learn something very different, something super fun. 
Anyway, share this video with your friends, share this with people that you think will learn from this video as well, and consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it does help me make better videos in the future. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'll see you in the next video, space out, let's watch the earth boil away and change its shape completely. And as always guys, bye bye.